Melbourne researchers have developed a prototype for a bionic eye. They hope to begin clinical trials within three years, but it's likely to be a decade before it's widely available. For Leeton Boyd, life without clear vision is something he's had to get used to. At the age of five, he was diagnosed with retinous pigmentosa, a degenerative eye condition. He's looking forward to the prospect of being able to see again. A biotic eye is, just, is going to be just a, a special thing and it's been a long time coming. Prime Minister Kevin Rudd's 2020 summit was the impetus for the bionic eye and his vision could give new hope to nearly 50,000 people in Australia who suffer from vision loss. Professor Anthony Burkett, director of Bionic Vision Australia, says this prototype will offer patients greater clarity compared to other models on the market. And it really is sort of a quantum leap in the technology, both in terms of the materials that we're using and in terms of the, um, the data and power transmission that's involved in it. The patient wears these glasses which have a camera attached to them. Those images are then transmitted by high frequency radio waves to a microchip implanted in the retina. And this is the result, a dotted image which gives the outline of an object. Clinical trials in patients will start in 2013 and if successful, bionic eye could be available by 2020. Kevin Murphitt lost his sight to a shattered windscreen. He's hoping he'll one day be able to see his loved ones again. The beauty of, you know, vision is really, really uh, dear to me and to be able to see my family again, uh, those sorts of things I think would be just remarkable. It's hoped the bionic eye will do for blind people what the cochlear implant did for the deaf. Gloria Clash, ABC News, Melbourne.